Hey folks, good morning. Um, just wanted to check that you guys can <coughs> you guys can hear me and see my screen. Can you give me a thumbs up? Awesome, thank you. We'll give a uh, thirty seconds more past the dot, and then they'll start. Okay, I think we have a critical mass here. So I think we'll just go ahead and get started. Um, first of all, welcome to um, our quality functional group update. So um, as you notice, um, I'm not BJ. Um, more explanation on, on that in a second. Um, my name is Mech, I just joined uh, a month and a half ago as, as engineering manager on the quality team. And this is our agenda for today. So we have some updates on the team, accomplishments, the releases, um, the OKRs, and then concerns. Uh, and then the Q&A in the end. Um, but first of all, um, I wanted to update that um, uh, BJ's contract with GitLab is ending um, at the end of this month. I know some of you may already have known this, but um, I want to say thank you to BJ. He's done a great job starting the quality initiative and making improvements to the quality release processes. Um, but his contract uh, with GitLab is ending, and, and, and this week is his, um, his last week at GitLab. Um, the next up is Remy has uh, decided to transition uh, to an IC role. Um, he is now a staff developer. Um, I also want to say thank you to Remy. He's done a fantastic job leading the Edge team so far, and he's, he will continue to be a very strong leader for the quality team. I'm, I'm very happy to have him in the team. So um, thank you, Remy. Uh, next up, um, uh, team update. So the quality and edge team has merged. Um, we are now uh, the, the proper quality team. Uh, the high level goals of the department can be found in more details there. I'm not going to go um, over it in detail, but these are the high level of the goals. Um, well, first of all, we need to ensure that GitLab consistently releases high quality software. Um, how is to expand more on GitLab QA, make it fast, make it reliable, easy to run. We need to close out all the test gaps expand the test coverage. There's so many things that we need to test, for example, email, LDAP, integration, um, not to mention more uh, collaboration with the security team for penetration testing and improve the release process. Next up is um, we want to improve our developer efficient, efficiency and productivity. This is uh, jump started by our engineering metrics dashboard. So we look at metrics on um, how we're doing uh, MRs per release. What are the trends of the issues being filed? Are there many S1s or S2? S2s uh, during this given time frame and why, and we we're going to make uh, suggestions to improve our engineering operations. And lastly, um, we want to ensure that Git the GitLab code base maintains a high bar of quality um, from external contributions. So reviewing community MRs, making sure that the test uh, the GitLab QA can easily be run uh, in, a, in a contributor environment uh, outside of our, our company and make sure that they test their stuff before it comes into our contribution pipeline. And we will continue to expand the team with um, test automation developers. Uh, accomplish accomplishments so far. So we did successfully normalize uh, uh, the bug security and priority labels. And this uh, normalizes the teams on the same unit of urgency. Why is this important? Um, when we say urgency and priority, we want engineering to say to say and mean the same thing. If it's an S1, if it's a P1, we want the meaning to be the same across the board so we can track our execution, we can track whether we are um, delivering on our promise to our customers. Say if, if it's a S1 or P1, we should be delivering it now. If it's a P3, it should be within the next three releases or a, a given quarter. Um, we're also working on deprecating the existing um, uh, uh, SL, SP, and AP labels as well. And a special thanks and shout out to all the people here, um, Dawei, Sean, Yorick, Remy, Jen Shin, Kathy, and, and Lee for reviewing this process. And it's, it's now taken effect. Thank you. Uh, next up is we start to codify the codify and document the release process with Marin. And um, we want to improve um, the, the validation gap and the feedback loop. Uh, I think the release process has been a, a, a known knowledge that gets passed down. We need to write it down, have it be codified, have it be signed off. Um, and then define the personas and releases and also the types of the releases as well. Um, this is also the same theme that was covered in Kathy's uh, functional update uh, yesterday. 
uh, per release metrics. Um, so we release 106 uh, MRs from the community in, in 10.7, so great job. And um, we, it's increased from the last, the last release. And um, Robert continues to be a crucial role in coordinating the release process. Um, and uh, we still expect to uh, see him in this role um, in, in, in the near future, and especially crucial when we migrate to the, the Google Cloud. Uh, apologies here that the emoji is not, is not showing correctly, but um, this is the temperature red zone. Um, so 10.7 has had its hurdles. I think everybody knows about this. Um, the latter RCs have been unstable uh, with Goldie Loader coming in and more on this is going to be touched on in the in the retrospective. And a special shout out to the people um, holding the fort here, Marin, Philippa, Mira, and then James Lopez. Uh, updates on our OKR. So um, we sign up for many things um, per quality and edge team uh, in Q1. And in Q2, we are more focused and more strategic um, and also respecting our current resources. Um, we sign up for delivering the first iteration of the met engineering uh, dashboard charts and metrics. Um, we want to com complete the organization of the EE file. So moving forward, engineering can move faster. And um, uh, thank you, Andrew. Uh, a, a shout out to the, the product team also as well for holding the fort uh, in the release. Thank you. Uh, so yes, uh, going back, we want to complete the organization of the EE files and directory. So moving forward, um, we, we know an EE feature is coming in. We know exactly where it is, and it's not scattered all over the place. And it should be helpful in increasing engineering productivity and efficiency going forward. And also, we're working hard on hiring. So um, we, want, we want to try to source 100 candidates and also hire two more test automation developers. And um, thank you, Nadia, and the recruiting team for all the help here. Oops. OK, thank you. Uh, next up is concerns and um, where we will probably need help on. So we've seen um, customers asking for uh, an audit process of GitLab quality and the release process. And um, this has been, uh, I, I see this coming more often down the line before we, we do a pre-sale, we, we, well, we need to qualify as their vendors. And they've been asking us to open up our house to show them how we develop software um, as in um, walking them through the, the requirements, how it goes down to the release, how we check off those features in a release, and how we validate that, hey, um, we are actually verifying that this feature is working before it goes into our customers' hands. The same with bugs and, and the resolution and tracking as well. They're asking us, hey, are we, are, how are we tracking severity and priority? Um, you can notice the theme here. And how are we tracking against delivering on those timelines on severity and, and priority? So. Um, um, we're working on a, a, a playbook for this. I, I think uh, Mark has shared the name of the customer here. So yes, um, uh, we are using this case as to uh, as a scenario and as an example to start codifying and make sure that this this this, this, this information is available um, going forward. And it is we preach what we say. Um, the next step is um, oh I, another point I want to I want to I want to underscore here is uh, we cannot we can no longer be lax around the release process meaning um, the the bugs that we promised that we we fix we have to verify before we sign up on a release because if, if we show them the the RC or the the release task they ask hey why isn't this box checked uh, we should have a good explanation for it and um, we should close the, the feedback loop there. Uh, the next up, um, per, property, per, per the proper quality team, um, the, we may be moving tasks around that's not uh, related to the long-term um, quality roadmap and goals of the team. Um, so you see me and, uh, uh, talking to engineering leads around uh, and trying to get this, this sorted out. Uh, for example, auth, IATN, and security and stuff. So um, there, this needs to be uh, allocated to our uh, uh, domain experts on the topic. And um, and that's the end. Thank you for listening. Um, any questions here? Or hey, Tommy, thank you. you. Yes. Uh, if we're going to, uh, because you mentioned the, um, that we can't be lax on the, on the release tasks and validating the features that we fixed or built and so on, but sometimes we can't test properly because the environment's not matching up with what clients are going to be using or like this kind of stuff. Um, do we have an idea already on how we're going to make that easier for us? 
So there, there are a few discussions going around where we want to set up staging um, with the testing capabilities the same as Canary and Preprod, so it's available for people to, to, do, uh, to do the testing on. So that's being worked on uh, as we speak right now. So um, you see more themes like this. The next up um, in our pipeline is um, setting up review apps for, for CE. So in a merge request, um, we have a review app environment for you to, to test your changes in. And in addition, we have to work on our um, testing tools. For example, um, I was in discussion this morning where we're testing LDAP and SAML. So um, uh, we have to work on uh, giving you guys a, a SAML setup tool that's easily available on, uh, for everybody to test. Um, Tom, I'm going back to Tommy's question here. So uh, when I said proper quality team, um, uh, what I want to, to say is like, like per, per, per our, uh, our history, right? Like, like a lot of things has been pulled into the edge team, helping out with, um, with, with things all around. I think that's great. I think we wanna, wanna have a culture of um, collaborating and helping other people. But we also have to maintain a focus on, on quality and what, what we have to invest in to make us run faster and deliver on quality. And those are also important tasks that um, the team has to deliver on. And this is gonna be tied into um, the next OKRs coming forward in the, qual in the, in the quality team. And one of them being um, review apps on CE, for example, um, which points to Clement's question. Um, uh, no one, I have a timeline on this yet, uh, Clement. I have a meeting with, with Josh this week to discuss this. Um, hey, Mick, uh, this is Victor. Uh, thanks for the updates. Um, uh, as the quality team grows and, and the infrastructure and tools grow, um, in the past, we've said that we're never going we're not never, but we, we don't believe in uh, dedicated people doing testing. Um, and then that developers, and I guess, prime managers are, are doing that separately. Is that still the philosophy and the quality team is empowered or, or, or the, the mandate is to provide the tools and resources to help us do that? Or will, will that philosophy change and is the quality team actually doing testing themselves and uh, whether it's automated or, or with manual? And can so, you so great question. So no, it, the mandate is not changing. Um, the same as security, right? I think quality is everybody's responsibility. And um, I think the quality team, um, how, how I would phrase it is quality as a developer productivity. So we are focused on making quality easier to achieve by building tools, by automating stuff. I think um, going forward, quality is still everybody's responsibility. We, we appreciate people com contributing to tests. And that's, that's, that's how it should be forward, right? It, it, the people developing the feature has the tribal knowledge of what are the weak areas and they need to collaborate with the quality team. Hey, what are the tests that we need to add? Do we need to add unit tests, integration tests, um, UI or even visual diff tests in the pyramid? So that collaboration has to be there and, and quality is everybody's responsibility. And that's, that's, that's the path forward. Right, and then do you see your team evolving to set certain, like you mentioned, uh, external forces are saying like they want certain processes or, or documentation. So do you envision that the, the quality team will also push for certain processes or, or standards in terms of um, quality and testing that individual folks should adopt, I guess. Is that, yes, is that how that's a great question. Um, yes, so it still has to be a collaborative um, uh, manner, but um, for every enterprise customers, when they want to audit something, right, the, the, the first team they'll look at is the quality team. Hey, let's talk to the quality team what's going on in the other side. So we are kind of like the, the first line of defense there and, or interface to the customers, and then we will um, point to the, the necessary information and, and people. Great, thank you. My pleasure. Um, any other questions? Great questions, by the way. Uh, cool, so I'll give it a countdown. Um, and, and lastly, I want to say good luck and thank you, BJ. I think we appreciate all his contributions um, so far at GitLab, and we wish him the best of luck. And he's going to send out a, 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 a note um, uh, later uh, this week. Great. Well, thank you, everybody. I'll give you guys uh, 15 minutes back. Thank you for, for joining us.